Hey everyone, Dan here, and today we've got a special video. We're here in Bonner's Music in Eastbourne, which is this awesome guitar shop. And I'm actually gonna be starting to do some new lead guitar courses soon. So I'm actually here to see if I can find the perfect pick for lead guitar and along the way see if I can guide you to what you might want to look out for as you're looking for a pick specifically for lead guitar. So first thing I think we'll do is we'll, apart from obviously look around this wonderful store, we'll go and find the manager, the guy that runs the place, Mike. When people come in, when customers come in, yeah. what do they what do they get? Probably the biggest says kind of like the Toltec styles generally. Yeah. Uh, Let's get I think one of these up. I think mainly because of the they kind of got a kind of bit of a filter and there's like a coating on them that kind of gives a bit uh -huh. of grip really. And they do such a good range of thicknesses. Yeah. yeah. From the kind of like the thinner style ones. Yeah. Uh, through to the heavier gauge. Because within all of these ranges they're kind of different types of plastic as well. Yeah. Different materials. And they even though you might have one that's a one mil on all of them, yeah. That might one of them might have a little bit of flexibility more than another one. Generally sort of heavyish picks are what most people tend to tend to like. They've got it more of a positive when you're in and out the string with it. Yeah. It kind of it's it okay. works with you and helps. All right so Mike has kind kindly laid out some wonderful picks here for us just to try and get the weight right. That's the first thing in our little step-by-step -step process here. Let's see if we can get the weight that I like for lead playing. So we've got them ranging all the way from 0.5, in fact, we've got 0.3 just to test out, uh, all the way up to 1.14. So I'm just gonna go through them. I'm just gonna have a little play with each of them. And at the end of it, I'll tell you which ones I like and, and why. So let's start with the 0.3. Look at that. That's not going to help at all. Right, okay. My result here is I kind of guessed I would to be honest. 1.14, that's that's my favorite one of that lot. The heaviest one of this particular range. I really like that. So if you look at the lightest one here, there's 0.38. Just look at that bend. I'm going to call it bounce back. You know, that's going to create a lot of resistance. So that's the most extreme example. But basically working through these plectrums, I was just trying to get rid of that as much as possible. So by the time I got through to the 1.0 and the 1.14, these have very little give. And that really, really helps when it comes to actually trying to pick a little bit faster. So that's the first result. All right, guys, round two in our pick mania, <laughs> which we'll call it. Um, we've decided already we quite like the high, or I personally like the heavier pick. So 1.14 upwards, shall we say. Um, and this time we're gonna talk about the shape and the size of the pick. So we've got a whole range here and I'm gonna once again, just, just try them all out, um, go through it, how it feels for me when I'm playing some lead. And then we'll talk a little bit about it at the end, what I prefer, what I don't. So let's go through it. Okay. Uh, so that's quite a lot of information to take in actually. They're, they're all, because they're the same thickness roughly, you know, they're all one point, two, 1.3, four, this one's 1 1.5. Um, the thickness is all correct to me, it feels right. So actually in terms of the shape, I'm not too fussed. What I did know is I really didn't like, personally, this, this kind of extra pointy. For me suddenly it was like, my playing was amplified, all the mistakes were amplified. Um, so I didn't particularly like that. It was almost like too much point on the str I would say that this particular, like the classic Jazz 3, I guess, is just too small. When it comes to lead, it's, it's kind of cool, I like it. But if I then had to do any kind of leady kind of bubble picking, you know, this kind of like, where you're kind of in between a bit of lead, a bit of groove, I think that really falls short and it's a bit too small for the hand. So, so that was a really nice alternative to that, that, that XL series Jazz 3. It's just a really nice shape for my fingers. Um, and I quite like it's a little bit pointier than the standard. If you look at the standard versus the Jazz 3, the standard's just got that curve at the edge, which I don't particularly like for lead, and just that slight point here, but of course, not as pointy as the 
sharp where these are very very similar just a slightly different shape for the hand so either one of these i'd be super super happy with so far so i'm actually going to take them both into the final part with me all right guys so we're in the final round i'm now going to pick between these three picks it was two it's now three i brought one back in because i was kind of keen on it um and i'm going to play them i'm just gonna have a little feel a bit more time to get a feel for them and then i'll give you my final verdict so let's start with the first pick the jim dunlop xl jazz 3. <laughs> Thin strings. Okay, so I actually surprised myself here because in all honesty, I have been using these picks before quite a lot. Um, the old Jazz 3 Jumbo ones. But after this little test, I'm actually gonna say that I like the uh, Tortex, the Flow, one millimeter, um, which surprised me on a few levels because it's a little bit lighter than I might have normally chosen. These, these Jazz 3s are pretty heavy. Um, but actually doing it, it just felt right to me. It's a slightly different material. Um, it's this Tortex material rather than whatever this, these two are made out of more plasticky, kind of harder material. So these were maybe a little bit too bright potentially. And this just had a really nice, balance for me it ticks all the boxes right we've been through the competition it's, it's a good weight um, it's a good size for me it's maybe not quite as big maybe that's what it was maybe that this 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 one in particular felt just a little bit too chunky in my hands and this was a just I don't know slightly nicer fit um, whatever it was um, the important thing I want to get across here is that this will change you know this is something that's going to evolve with your guitar playing I honestly didn't think I'd walk out of here today with this as the pick of choice uh, the pick of destiny if you like but it's something that will change, it will evolve. It's all about trying, feeling different picks and just going with, with whatever kind of feels right on the day. So that's the one I'm gonna choose. 